Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome to another MAMJ Let's Play A Broken Age Act 2. When we left off, we got banned for life from this train station here. And we did quite a bit as Vela, so I'm gonna go back as Shay in this episode and see if we can learn what else we need to do to make a spaceship. Now, we just brought down uh, Harmony Lightbeard's uh, cloud that had that uh, thruster on it. So I'm thinking that if we go back there, we may be able to get some very valuable information as to what we can do next. So I'm gonna go up there and see how people are taking the news that Harmony isn't exactly as light as he, whoa. Hi. I can't reach it. So I says, honey, I would never call your mother a catfish. Gary's definitely out of range now. I, I couldn't reach the fish with that. Can I? What did the fish doorman do to the underage poet at the bar? Carpi deedum. Okay. Well, that's different. Um, I'm going to have to figure out how to get that down. All right, so yeah, I'm going to go back to the uh, Cloud City or whatever it was called. I forgot what it was called right now. But we're going to talk to everybody, see how they're dealing with the whole Harmony being... I don't want to say he's a fraud, but he, he did kind of let down a lot of people. And maybe I can interact with each of them, give them all of the items that I have, and learn something new. So let's see. Oh, Feather's gone. Feather? Where did you go, buddy? Uh, okay, I guess we'll go over here first. Hey, guys. Hey, Walter. Shay. Shay. Uh, Lightbeard, you mean that pack rat on the pile of junk there? Oh, you mean that pack rat on that pile of junk back there? Um, pack rat? It's true. Yeah, turns out he was hiding this amazing mountain of trash under the fake cloud cover. Darn it! I knew it! Did you really, though? You did? Well, I mean, there were signs, and one day it hit me. An epiphany? No, a license plate fell on my head when I was walking under this cloud, but wow. I just didn't want to admit it to my family after making them all move up here. I am the worst father in the world. No, you're not. Did you willingly give up your own daughter as a sacrifice to save a town that didn't deserve her? No. Then you're doing all right, Walt. Oh. Well, see you guys later. Take care, Shay. All right, hang on. Let me see if I can give you guys anything else. You want that? Probably not. This button only works on grabbing Gary. Yeah, what I about? Where he is now? I have a crochet hook if anyone feels creative. My wife was the crafty one. Oh, she is indeed crafty. Okay, what about this? Anything out of tune around here? Yeah, my entire life. Oh, that's kind of sad. Okay, cupcake? Anybody want a cupcake? Oh, thanks, but I can't. Something about eating my daughter's face. Ah, <laughs> Oscar. That's the best part. Uh. In fact, that's the only part I eat. I'm off gluten, you know. Oh, uh, that's gross. Okay, okay, hang on. Hang on, I, I know what to do. You licking that cupcake in the most gross way. I actually know what to do. The, hmm. the grandpa had one more thing of icing in it I got in his uh, stick say that uh okay so if i give him this is he gonna re-ice it hey you want to frost this <laughs> well yes darn why'd i go and do that now i don't have any frosting left to make a cupcake for bill you can give her this one oh hey good idea you don't you no know. here you can take my empty. See if you can really? get refill, okay? Okay. Oh, this is going so well. No, I'm gonna use that stick to beat little girls for their clothes. That sounded better in my head. But it's pretty much what I'm gonna do. Okay, so let's do that. And then I wonder if I can also use the stick to get that fish hey, down. Hey, you wanna buy a cupcake? Nope. Somebody already licked the one I had. Thanks so. Okay, so let's go over here. Let's fight those girls, and then maybe I can knock down that fish with the stick, too. That would be nice. Two birds with one stone. Okay, don't fall, don't fall. Okay. Don't fall. Hey, I got a stick. Let's fight. On guard, druids. Okay, yarn boy. Enough is enough. Do I have to do anything? Do I have to click? Aw, <laughs> come on, Shay. 
dodge? Well, that kind of counts as You're a dodge. You're lucky she's blind, kid. I didn't miss him because I'm blind, Courtney. Okay. I missed him because I can see. I've been I've been pretending to be blind all these oh, years. Oh no. <gasps> I never really had the faith like you, Courtney. But I don't have the faith, Don. I was pretending too, so I could be like you. They're both phonies. What? You're not blind? No. In fact, I've been stealing and selling artifacts from the pyramid to save up money to get out of this town. <laughs> Me too! Wow. I would have left long ago, but I didn't want to leave you here. I know how much being a dead-eyed druid meant to you. I What's haven't happening? wanted to be a druid for years. I want to go to school and study hotel management. I want to study graphic design and start a band. My brain. Let's do it. Let's just go. Right now? Right now. Can I have your clothes? Please? But what about our quest to find something to believe in? I did. How about you? Oh. Ah! Oh. Okay, then. Wow. Oh, that's what I get for learning to fence with candy canes. I... Didn't think that was gonna happen, but okay. Oh, I don't have to stick anymore. Better take these before those druids get cold and come back. Uh, do where's do they have their sticks anywhere? Hey. Uh. They're seriously just riding naked on a bird, though. You don't have a stick over here, do you, buddy? I've had all the juice I want today. Whatever. Whatever. Hey, hunter. Huh? Oh, hey. Uh, nope. Don't need to know any of that. Okay. How am I supposed to get down the fish, then? Hmm. I wonder... If I can't use the stick... I could make the tree vomit again. Although I feel kind of bad making him vomit over and over. But maybe that'll get him to, like, shake his branches. I'm slowly understanding the logic to this game. Slowly but surely, I I know what they uh -oh. want from me. Um, what am I supposed to do with those girls though? That I don't know. Okay, so let's go down this way because we have the clothes at least, and we can see if there's anything else we can do. We still need an electrical genius, and was that it? So why? Oh, I need the wire from Carol so that I can patch up the little robot guy. Okay, I understand now. I think I know where I'm going. Much better than I was before, at least. Okay, let's see if we can make the tree vomit again, since I still have the flyer and I don't have the stick. Hey, buddy, how's this going? So just the side of this girl's face. Schoolgirl. <laughs> Fascinating. Uh, it didn't work. <laughs> just leave me be. It didn't work. Is there anything else I can use, spoon? Hey, spoon. Think you can reach that fish? Sir, while I recommend a diet that includes plenty of fish, I don't mean plastic talking just walnut throw it. fish. Come on, just throw it up there. Throw him up there. Uh, I couldn't reach the fish with that. Throw this up there. I already know. Nah, I couldn't reach the fish with that. Mm. Mm, probably shouldn't. Of all the things really? I could have taken from our tree. Tree. Human. <laughs> There's a fish up there in your branches. Can I have Can it? I fish up there in your branches? Can I have it? Sorry, I caught it. Until it falls from my branches, it's mine. That's the code of the trees. <sighs> really, dude? Uh, do you want to hear a hey, joke? Want to hear a joke? Ooh, is it a tree joke? Uh, did you hear the local coffee shop has a no oaks policy? Why didn't the air acorn go down the opera? Say, do you know the old Pete the pine tree? Why did the president of chipmunks get impeached? No idea. Did you hear the local coffee shop has a no oaks policy? What? In this day and age? Uh... I don't get it. Oaks? They have free cookies there. So? So, 
<laughs> oh, okay, I need to figure out a joke. No. <laughs> uh, okay, let me try another joke. Okay. Uh, did you hear what little Sammy saw? Did you hear about little Sammy saw? Who is that? Some sort of depraved serial killer? Yes. What did he do? Um. Uh, little Sammy saw? I heard he had one too many nuts. Hey, keep it clean. <laughs> there are saplings around here. I, I didn't uh, know. Sorry. I am really bad with the jokes, apparently. Okay. What about this one? Why didn't the acorn want to go to the opera? I don't know. Why didn't the acorn want to go to the opera? Um. I don't. I don't get it. The coffee there is terrible. How is that relevant? <laughs> it's not. It's not at relevant. all. Just, you know. Oh. Humorous. Is it? Tree, why are you so mean? I don't think any of these punchlines okay. work, Let but... Let me try another joke. <sighs> okay. Stop being such a downer. Oh, these are different. Do you know why penguins don't have Christmas trees? Do you know why penguins don't have Christmas trees? Oh, I don't know. Maybe because they don't <laughs> believe in tree murder? Never mind. Uh, wow. I didn't even get to tell a joke. Okay. Let me... Um... What's the smallest full-grown tree you've ever heard What's of? What's the smallest? Your mother's dwarf willow? Uh... I, d I don't get any of these. Um... How is this a joke? I've seen one no bigger than my hand. Oh yeah? What was it called? Palm tree. A palm tree. A palm tree? But those aren't really... Oh, oh! oh. oh. Laugh. <laughs> it worked! Did it work? <laughs> you get a yes! I'll get a pole. We'll go down to the crawdad hole. Yikes, how's that thing talking? Oh, that's creepy. Oh, that took me a little bit, but I got okay. one. Just stay quiet, you. Honey, sugar paw baby mine. Shh. Okay. It seems like so much work to teach a fish to sing. I wonder why they didn't teach it a second song. So I says, honey, I would never call your mother a catfish. Ugh. They've got shorter whiskers. I think it's better at telling jokes than I am. I'm sorry about that. I'm really awful at that. Okay, so let's go. What am I gonna do with this fish? Actually, she wanted to fish. Hey, Carol. Oh, that's so nice to hear. Right? Did you say you Didn't she wire? want a fish? I have a bunch, but I'm using it all up trying to make these damn Yeah, and I need that wire. Well, good luck and good fishing, Carol. I might be able to accomplish a lot. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. Uh. Just give her fish. <laughs> What's that? You get a lo lot of fish when you mm -hmm. use the right equipment. You caught that fish on this beach? What's your secret? Hmm. Maybe I'll show you sometime. Let me think about it. Ah. Okay. Maybe it's the crochet hook. Maybe I. Cause remember she said I have to okay. prove it. You've worn me down. I've decided to tell you about my fishing secret weapon. Crochet hook. Your what? This. The hook that I caught that amazing fish with. I call it the fish reaper. Or freeper. Freeper. You don't say. Catchy. Hey, uh, do you suppose I could borrow your freeper for a little you while? You keep it. Borrow my freeper is like part of my body. But please promise to leave some fish in the... <laughs> but yes. please promise to leave some fish in the ocean for future generations. Thanks, kid. Guess I don't need this anymore. Yeah, you're still not gonna be able to catch any fish, but awesome. Come to Carol, my beauties. I'm gonna be impressed if she catches anything. It's Carol's spool of wire. Nicely wound. Ah, <sighs> Lorraine would have loved that. So Excuse is Lorraine. Me? Oh, just a woman I knew once. When she wound spaghetti, it was like watching the ballet. 
I'm guessing you're talking about the fork. Can I use this on you? Oh, here we go. What am I doing? This one looks good. What am I doing? I have no that idea what I'm doing. There, and that's all the wire I have. Okay. What am I doing? They shouldn't be connected. Yeah, that's better. Take it to this one. Oh, I can connect them to wherever. That's all my wire. Weird. Those. Okay, I need to figure out how to fix them. Hang on. Is my dad still over here? No, he left me. Of course he did. Okay, let's give the radiation suit. And maybe we talk to somebody about how to fix that little guy. I don't know how the wiring's supposed to work. There's your suit. Hey, your guards left these behind. What the? They made robes out of my old radiation curtains? Yeah, they're completely they're in the nude underneath. Anymore. Too many openings for radiation to get through. Man, I had the worst cult ever. Wait, so you can't use them? Really? There's printing inside these robes. Ugh. It says, these curtains to remain closed during radiation storms. Hmm. I don't know what I'm gonna Being do though. cold is not his problem. Can, can you, can you do something with How this? this little guy? Would he help? On my ship, they were good at fixing all kinds of things, especially electronics. Incredible. Much more advanced than the units I'm used to. He's probably exactly what we need. Mm -hmm. But it looks like he needs some rewiring. And that tech is way beyond me. Hmm. Okay, I gotta find a way to rewire him. It's not exactly the same shape, but maybe if I turn it. Huh? Well, that's Wait, what's that? Something? What is that? Huh? That's got to be indicating what wires to use where. The... What? I don't get it. Alright, there's something I'm missing with him. But there is one more thing I'm dying to know. And that's the robes. They're not working because he said there's too many holes in it. And remember how I said earlier in this episode that I don't know what to do with the girls that were on the cloud? I think I'm supposed to give them the robes and maybe they can patch it for me. Yeah, you're still angry, I know. But I think if I go to her, maybe she can patch the robe for me and make them actually usable again? I don't know if they'll fight off radiation, but that's really the only thing I can do. And then I guess I'll just save that little robot guy for another episode. Um, let's see if my intuition is going to work the way I want it to. I seem to be doing pretty good in this episode, though. I'm making some progress, which is good. I just need to give you... Oh, hey, Lightbeard! What you doing in a cage? Hey, what are you doing down here? They all turned on me. After <laughs> all I've done for them. Yeah, all that stuff. Are you an electronics genius? I don't want to give him anything that could re-trigger his hoarding problem. True. Will you vomit if I show you this? Have you seen this girl? I think that was the girl who broke my ladder. Don't know how I know, just something not light about her. You still say that, huh? Okay, um, robes. Hey, can you fix this for me, please? Please? Huh. Never seen this kind of material before. Can you sew it? Shouldn't be a problem. That's the spirit. Just get me a pattern to work from. I should be able to make this happen. There's that positive pattern. attitude I was looking for. We need a pattern. Mm. Where am I going to get a pattern from? Did Alex have a pattern in the spaceship? I don't remember if he did or not. I guess I could ask him. I don't think he did, but never hurts to ask, right? We'll see if he does, and if he does, then I'll go back and show the girls that pattern, and if not, then I'll go ahead and end this episode there so that way we have something to look forward to in the next one although i think i'm going to try and jump back and forth between 
uh, Vela and Shay now that I'm kind of I got some good pacing between the two of them and I want to make sure that if you guys are interested in one character not the other you don't have to wait like several episodes to see what happens although in the end they're gonna combine together and make one cohesive story but I think we're getting to the point where we're almost done with at least Shay's story because we don't have that much left that we can really make um, and then with Vela we have to make the bomb and probably find a way to <laughs> where'd my voice go Probably find a way to, uh, escape that space station. Okay, um... What does your ship need to fly? Uh, have you noticed your ship sort of shaking have now? Have you noticed that your ship's sort of shaking now? That's the heavy-duty anti-gravity thruster you found, warming up. Oh, okay. After everything else is ready, that thing's gonna blast us out of here. Yeah, it might kill us all. Oh, man. Okay, I don't think okay. I need that music Ceiling. thing. Okay. I don't know what that's for yet, but I'm going to figure it out, and we're going to save that for the next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching and supporting this series. I really, really do appreciate it, and I'm going to try and get through the best I can with the best of my abilities. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know if you enjoyed. I'll see you guys on the next MAMJ. Plus plus. Yes. Yes. <laughs>